Well, Ronnie, it's uh, been quite the season in the NFL thus far. What are some of your takeaways from the action this year? Well, my takeaways is that it's been an interesting year. It, my takeaway is that when you see some of the things that have happened in terms of the way the, the year has played out, I mean, obviously Seattle has had a phenomenal run. Uh, I didn't expect Atlanta to have the run that they had. It's great to see Denver doing what they've done. It's great to see not only what they've done, but it's great to see the fact that they've been able to integrate some of the talent that they were able to bring in. So I love what I see in Denver. It's also great to see Tom Brady standing up out there, still being able to do what he's done the last three games, making the comebacks and doing what he's been able to create in terms of making sure that his, his team is still viable and that they have a shot at the playoffs. At the same time, I like what I've seen in Detroit. I like some of the things there. I like what I've seen with Philly. God, look at Philly. Look at Philadelphia and what they've done. And with all of that said, man, I just like the fact that last week, when you think of the fans, think of all the fans and all the fans and what they had to do, deal with. And to me, one of the great things for me is that I'm here with Haynes, and Haynes and I are on this mission to just talk about and celebrate the fans. And it's been phenomenal. We've been asking people to participate and tweet at Haynes, hashtag America's Toughest. And we've been asking them to do that. And it's just been awesome, man. And so this has been great. It's been a great year. But it's also been a great year for the fans to celebrate that they can actually see all the elements like they saw last weekend and see all the production of scoring. That's been a big that was a big thing because everybody was saying, God, what about the Super Bowl being outdoors? Well, I can tell you right now, guys are throwing the ball outdoors. Guys can make plays outdoors. So I think the Super Bowl is going to be a phenomenal uh, uh, game. And at the same time, I get to celebrate all the fans. And right now, I get to talk about not only the great fans, but we're asking all of you to kind of join us at Tweet Haynes, hashtag America's Toughest. America's toughest. Hashtag America's toughest. Well, Ronnie, you mentioned tough fans, and you also mentioned the Seahawks. And, you know, there's a, a really great environment up in Seattle, and no one's been able to beat the Seahawks at home over the past two years. What do you think makes it so tough to play up there? What makes it so tough is, one, it's so loud. Two, is that it's a long trip to get there. People forget that when you make that trip up there, you're making a trip to the furthest part of our country. And so when you have to get up there, whether you're coming from San Francisco or whether you're coming from across the country, it's the furthest part of our country. So that's what makes it challenging. Two is that once you get up there, the fans are phenomenal. Three is that the way these guys coach and the way that they go about running their game plan, they play great defense. They shorten the game. They keep the games very tight. They love trying to win games in the fourth quarter. That's why I think that they've had a lot of success up there. And one of the things that if anybody goes up there, if they're going to beat them, you're going to have to be able to get, get – you're going to have to be able to score right away. You've got to score quickly. You're going to have to try to post the game where not only do you post the game, but when you post it, you want to post it in a way where you're ahead of the game. So to me – that's an area where if you're going to beat Seattle, you better go up there and get, get a lead on them because if you don't get a lead, it could be very challenging to win up there. You're right about that. Ronnie, when you were in the league, which cities had the toughest fans, and did you ever have any memorable run-ins or encounters with those fans? Yeah, the toughest fans, when I look back, when I was playing, I mean, you know, when you played in Oakland, it was always tough playing in Oakland because – John Madden, because of Tommy, uh, Tom Flores, because of all the elements over there. So they made it tough. The, 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 they were very passionate. They were very loud. And they, and, they, and they dominated us when I played. That's what made it so tough is when they beat you. That's what makes it tough. And then, of course, we played in, in, in RFK. That was a tough place to play, playing against the Redskins, playing against that team and when they were running well, and then, and then playing in New York. Playing against the Giants, it was tough there. But probably the most toughest place is Philadelphia. Philadelphia was a very tough place. I mean, to a point where when you when you left there, you you left there hoping that the minister Reggie White would play a, a role in escorting you out of town because if he didn't play a role, it was hard to get out of that city. Uh, tough place to play, passionate fans, uh, fans that cared a lot. And so, yeah, no, uh, for me, when I think about 
and look back at my career, yeah, that was uh, Philly was one of the toughest places. Ronnie, you played in the first quote unquote cold weather Super Bowl or the game that was held in Michigan in 1982, but that was played in a dome. Do you think it's a good idea for the NFL to have a Super Bowl in a cold weather city like New York? Well, I think it's a great idea, and the reason why everybody should have the experience of understanding what it's like to have a Super Bowl in your community. And the reason why the Super Bowl, like it was in Detroit, it was a big plus to have the Super Bowl in Detroit. It was a, not only a big plus, but it rallied the community. I went to the, the second time they had it, and when they had it the second time there, it was awesome. It was great to see. It was great to see Roger Pinsky and great to see the efforts that he made in bringing the Super Bowl back there. It was well attended. People loved it. And I think now having it in New York, uh, I think it was going to be a phenomenal event. I think people are going to love it. And by the way, you got to get your Hanes Comfort T-shirt because you're going to need it in New York because it's going to be a part of the process and it's going to be an outdoor deal. People are going to love it. I think people are going to be excited. And by the way, I think we're going to see a lot of scoring in that game. We've seen scoring in other big playoff games. We've seen scoring in playoff games over the years where people have put up points and it's been outdoors. I, I would expect the same thing at the Super Bowl this year. You mentioned the Hanes Comfort Blend T-shirts. Ronnie, once again, what can fans do to score their free T-shirts? Well, what you got to do is you got to tweet at Hanes with hashtag America's Toughest. That gives you a shot and that gives you to, uh, to a chance to be a part of the conversation. And by the way, by you being a part of the conversation, like I'm going to be a part of the conversation, it gives you a shot at having a Hanes Comfort Blend T-shirt, the softest ever. But more importantly, it gets you in the conversation. And, and what we're trying to do is encourage people to get in the conversation because a lot of times fans are constantly talking about the things that they love about the game, but also they should be talking about the things that they love that makes the game tough. They are tough people. They are people who are very passionate. But we're trying to soften up just a couple of them, not all of them, but we, if we can soften up a couple of them, I think we've done our job. Great. Well, Ronnie, before I let you go, I'd love to hear if you have a prediction for who will be facing off this year in the big game. Well, my prediction would be you got the Broncos and you got, you got the 49ers. That's what I thought was going to happen last year. I'm going to say that it could possibly happen again this year. Okay, I'd love to see that Peyton Manning against that tough San Francisco defense. It'd be a great game. Yes, it would be. Well, Ronnie, thanks again for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.